What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're gonna be talking about app screenshots for both the App Store and Google Play Store. You could see here on my landing page, I have the iPhone screenshot displayed and I typically do like to use that iPhone screenshot whenever I am marketing my app because I kind of just like the way it looks better than the Android one, but essentially it's the same thing. It's just the device is different. These screenshots here are just with the device and the actual content of the app. But if you go over to the app store, you'll see I have a little bit more context of what these screenshots are. So it's the same thing for Android. The screenshots are essentially the same. The only difference is the actual phone that's being used. And that is important because the Android, the Google version and the Android version should not show an iPhone in their screenshots, nor should the iOS version show a Android phone in their screenshots. But other than the device itself, the screenshots are going to be the same. And after doing a few of those app reviews, there are a couple things I've noticed with these screenshots. So the main point of these screenshots is to get someone to download your app. That is the purpose of the screenshot. If you'd like to get a free download of this screenshot template, you can head on over to newsletter.onemanstartup.com and get the free download now. If you get someone to this page in the App Store, this is when they are going to either download or not download your app. And a big part of that are the screenshots. So they're gonna look at the screenshots and they're gonna be like, okay, is this app what I'm looking for? Is this app gonna do what I wanna do? And if yes, then I'll download it and then try it out. And then you're just gonna keep getting, every, every single time one of these decisions has to be made, you're going to lose more users. So, the decision at this point is, do I download the app or not? And what they're, the information that the user has to make that decision are these screenshots. So you wanna convey the value of your app in these screenshots. So what I did with the wording of some of these, some of these cards here are kind of get people to see how this could benefit them in a way that, it, that makes them feel like it's benefiting them. So. This one's saying start your next adventure. It kind of makes you feel like you can go start an adventure, right? And then search the world. It kind of makes it feel like you can travel or go look at other places in the world. I mean, I don't. I guess looking at this right now, you don't necessarily know that this is a travel app, but then you get to this one and it's choose where you're going. So then you're kind of feeling like, okay, I'm gonna be searching and putting where I'm going. Then this one right here is kind of the important one where it's like set the budget. So then you're you're at least knowing that you're gonna be setting the setting a budget. Then this one is, you know, easily track your savings. So it's kind of just telling you what you can do with the app. I don't know that most people will view this many screenshots. So your first four are the most important, but it is also good to have Apple will let you have 10, so you should fill those up if you can. Some things that I've noticed that people are doing with their screenshots is showing screens that actually have no value. So for instance, you'll notice the login screen is not in any of these screenshots, and that's because the login screen is a valueless screen. There's no value on the login. Showing someone that your app has login is basically pointless. There's no reason to do it. Also, you'll notice there's no keyboards showing on any of these screens because that I think takes away from it. Like people know what their keyboard looks like. They don't need to see that on top of your app. Unless your app has something specifically to do with modifying a keyboard or something like that, there's no reason to have a keyboard in any of your screenshots. Another thing is 100% you need to get rid of that debug flag if it's a Flutter app. I noticed one. I noticed at least one app with that still on it in their screenshots. So you definitely don't want that. Uh, also, you want very clear text. So you don't want a lot of text and you don't want text that's hard to read. So you can see with this one, I went with a pattern that's, I went with an obvious like every other pattern where every other one is this really large text. These ones are kind of the ones that people are probably going to read. So this one might get skipped, search the world, set the budget, view what's saved, add trip notes. Those are, those are kind of like the more important ones that people are going to read. And then these ones are probably not going to be read as much. So 
you also need to understand that these are going to be looked at a glance. So people are not going to spend more than a couple seconds looking at these and they're gonna be kind of like, okay, this looks good, I'll download the app. Or really a lot of times people are gonna be looking at this while the app is downloading. So you kind of wanna almost get them prepared for what to expect once they get into the app. Because the app, every app will take a few seconds to download and while that's happening, people normally scroll down look at the screenshots a little bit, and then they're like, okay, this is what I'll be able to do once I can actually get into the app. As soon as the app is done downloading, they go and open it up, and then they're in the app, and the screenshots are no longer needed. Now, let me show you how I actually built these images. All right, so here is the file where I built all my screenshots out. So I use Sketch, but you can use really anything. Adobe XD is a free version, essentially a free version of Sketch. If you have Adobe products like Illustrator or Photoshop, you can use those as well, but these are pretty simple, so you don't really need the most sophisticated uh, Adobe products, I don't think. You'll notice I have three sets of screenshots, so with iOS apps, you do need to provide them a screenshot. With an iPhone that's older, basically an iPhone that has a home button, and then a newer iPhone is, I believe, optional, but you're going to want this version as well. So you do need two versions of the screenshots at minimum for iOS, and you could do even more versions. You could do versions for essentially every device type, but at minimum you need the, the version with the notch basically, and then the version without the notch and the button. So that is why there's two for iOS. Then the third version is the Android one, and you'll notice they're all essentially the same. The differences are just in the phone but also in the size. So this one, the larger iOS ones for the new iOS devices is 12, is 1,240 by 2,688. And then the smaller size for iOS is still that 1,242, but this time the height is 2,208. And then the Android one is a little bit more flexible, but I would recommend doing a 1242 by the 2280 there. So that is the essentially the outside framework of what these are. So then within that, I have the device, and then the device has the actual screenshot within it. Now, the nice thing about this, this actual screenshot is you can get that right from the Android Studio emulators. And when you're running that, and really for iOS, it's actually the iOS, um, the iOS emulator. But when you're running that, you can just take a screenshot and then you can just drag those screenshots into the devices here. And these devices can be found online in multiple different places. You can actually get them directly from Apple and you can get the Google ones directly from Google. Once you have those, it's really just a matter of dropping the screenshots into them. I don't think it looks good when you just put the screenshot by itself as the whole image. I think there is value in having some sort of text here to kind of guide the user into knowing what this page is about because they're going to be able to see just this screen once they're in the app, but it's t but you have an opportunity here to give them a hint of what this screen means. You're not going to have that opportunity later in the app because they're going to be immersed in it. But yeah, that is the process I go through when making my screenshots. If you're not sure where to start with your screenshots, you can get my template, which includes these exact screenshots that you just saw in this video right now as a sketch file. And you can go in and just edit these with the screenshots of your app, change a little bit of the text in there, and boom, you're off and ready to go. Head on over to newsletter.wellmanstartup.com and download the screenshot template. All right, ciao for now.